So we've just had our shopping delivery and Lauren's making me film it. So um, to give you an idea of what we buy, um, Lauren made me buy the real um, branded one of this because last time I bought the salt and sugar uh, for 50%. Wait, slow down, you're not making any sense. Okay. So here we have Heinz ketchup. Last time, mum bought 50% sugar and salt. Disgusting. So now we have normal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I bought some sort of quite quite posh um no, all you have to say is chopped tomatoes okay chopped chopped tomatoes um, yeah chopped tomatoes unscented deodorant for lauren's dad my dad doesn't like scented I deodorant i don't know what's in this this is a surprise for we can open it in a minute mm. um special oat milk for lauren um which is barista you can put it in coffee uh, yeah these are lovely these nan oat biscuits very small Wait. they come in little packets slow down okay sorry i feel as though i'm having to hurry just breathe Okay, I feel, I, uh, yeah. Just breathe. So these come in. Nan. Nans, and they come in small packets within it, about four or five biscuits. So that's really handy, then you don't have the whole lot going Then so you eat four or five biscuits at once. <laughs> and then um, I've got some cat food that my cat really likes, this type of thing. Um, quite expensive, but I only buy it on offer. And it was on an offer. Um, what else have we got? We've got some. Cushel. Interesting Ooh. toilet rolls. One of them is tubeless. Oh yeah, but tubeless. But the reviews say that, that what happens is it, it catches on the thing and then you can't pull it off. So I'm I'm gonna you know give them give them a go because I think it might. So I'm like you on, to go against the review. Well, it might depend on what type of toilet roll dispenser you've got, and then another one. True. Again, I only buy that on offer. Cost We've got of living crisis. A couple crisis. of mayonnaises, which we use. A couple of mayos. Uh, yeah, we use for sandwiches. Um, chopped, more chopped tomatoes in there. A nice seeded loaf, which they gave me a discount on. Breathe. Um, <laughs> these are gorgeous. Extra special mm. is because of it having pecans and macadamias hazelnuts you don't always get this variety in mixed nuts sometimes they have peanuts and it's because it's m&s because it's m&s but you very rarely get pecans and salted roasted pecans are out of this world in fact i just if it was just pecans i'd just buy them because you know I, to me they really oh they give me a lift and when i share these with lauren's dad <laughs> He doesn't eat any of the pecans. No, no, it's for you. Oh! I know, because I'm so spoiled. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we've done that. So, this is really for Lauren's dad. Neapolitan! When Lauren's dad was little, yeah. they, we used to get this one in a square, like, wrapped in cardboard paper, you know, the plasticky cardboard paper. Mm. You get it from the shop. And they, they used to have it on a Sunday after their Sunday dinner. And he and his sister used to choose who cuts it into four pieces <laughs> and whoever cuts it the other child chooses their piece can you imagine yeah, that's good, isn't it? how accurate that person <laughs> would so I, I bought this for jeff to have you know to mem you know remember his childhood so one of our favorite vegetables uh salad vegetables is watercress mm -hmm. and i simply love this if you're interested in a sandwich with marmite you know what marmite is. They have yeah, marmite yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a marmite in England, yeah. Yeah, okay. With marmite and maybe with cheddar cheese in it. Yum. In a sandwich. Yeah, and lovely. That, that is just heaven to me. So I have it really stacked with that. So we've got some leeks. Because I'm going to make Lauren some lunches. <laughs> Spoiled brat, we've honestly. Got some extra large avocados that Ooh. apparently are ripe. So look, one of That's those, huge. One of these is for you. I know they're really heavy. Wow. Feel the weight. Feel the weight. Oh, yeah, very I weighty. I know. Um, so one of those is for you to take home. Thanks. Um, sorry if you don't eat meat, we've got a couple of packets of <laughs> Sauce. sausages. Sausages. Um, and if you like, I can open the Yes, magic. please. We need, we need to have... Get this done. Don't want to keep you in suspense. It's nice when they put these in little boxes. They often do the cat food, the posh cat food. In these little, <laughs> sorry, not, not boxes. Okay. Sorry if the... Ah. Oh. I hope Aurora's not watching. This is from a granddaughter. So it's not a present, you bought it? I thought you said it was a present, a gift. I didn't say it was a gift. I thought it was a free gift in there. No, it's not a free gift. Oh, you it's made not... it sound like it was a free gift. No, no, no. Oh, so you bought some um, pens. Yeah, but the good thing about these pens, they got lovely reviews, is that the packet, I can't remember how it exactly works, that all the 
pens are joined together so you don't lose them. Something like That's that. That's clever. And they said, you know, this is the one pack of um, pens that my child has had and they haven't lost one yet because of the way they are. And, mm. uh, and they've got very thick nibs and they're ideal for young children. So, mm. so she's three now, so she's a little bit young for these, but I thought I'm going to get them anyway. Lovely. Um, well, she'll never lose one so she can have them for the rest of her life. So this video is about Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah. Okay, can hold it. Neapolitan, near, 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 poly, 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 ten, ten, ten. Near, poly, poly, near, near, poly, poly, ten, ten, poly, poly, ten. Near, ten, ten, near, near, ten, near, near, poly, ten, poly, near, ten, poly. Neapolitan. It's good, isn't it? Oh, that's great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Neapolitan. 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 You've missed something. m and apricots. Yeah, and the reason I, I've splashed out on these is because I bought some from Aldi recently and all you could taste was whatever it is that they coat them in to keep them. Uh. And even, I know, even when I um, put them in warm water or really, really hot water and washed them and everything, just trying to get rid of it, I couldn't. The first taste that you got in these apricots from Aldi was very similar sort of pack to this, was that whatever it is, the um, preservative. Uh. So apparently these, are t uh, these taste amazing. So I've realized I've filmed things and haven't actually updated what's happening. So. Mum has a lot of things, because obviously you've lived in this house for 42 years. Don't come in because you're wearing a surprise. Um, and things get... Thanks. Um, I've only got this on for the day. No, I know, I know, because you're breathing so loud. Is he? Yeah. That's because I've got a dust mask on, I thought <laughs> Just stop breathing for a minute. Okay. Um, basically, mum's got loads of stuff and the amount of jewellery was really overwhelming, wasn't it? Mm. Emotionally overwhelming because you've had stuff and well, we'll talk about it in a sec. So, yeah, here's us sorting through a bit of it and God knows what else we'll find. Mm. What, small bags? Yeah, found another, uh, another tooth. Oh. So this is your jewellery. Describe how you feel now in three words. Okay, we've had a talk. You've got to be upset. I can see you swallowing. You just swallowed again, didn't you? <laughs> so what? Let's. We don't have to focus on your face. So I just opened up this drawer, and you said, "There they are." And I'm going to show you. These are beautiful. I got these on eBay. You look, look, look. They're um water pearls whatever they're fresh, fresh water fresh water pearls you can see the different colors this will need slight rainbow effect catching the light we're not exactly in the most bright place but that you can do so much with them oh they're so long i know i know i know and i kept thinking where are these pearls where have they gone and look jewelry box so you can put them round and round your neck you can do so many things with them you can even put them around your wrist if you like you can even wear them and oh. attach them to your phone and wear them as a lanyard. <laughs> no, they're too good for that. And I also found this little necklace as well with this beautiful, delicate silver chain. Wait, 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 let me zoom in. Okay, here it is. Um, oh, it's all getting caught up. Ah, ooh, ah, it's... Ding, ding, one on, no, it's, this, it's this way around, sorry. Sorry. That's right. Cut, 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 cut. It's just this uh, lovely... Beautiful Big green color. Yeah, just it just feels nice. I feel good wearing that. It's such an unusual color. It's not even. Oh, there we go. Stunning. Mm. Okay. So this jewelry box hasn't been opened in years, and I just I'd even forgotten I'd got it. Well, you do work from home, oh, and we have been in a pandemic, so give yourself some. Yeah, I know. Slack. We just, we just dusted the the dust off the. Well, wipe the dust off the top and I've just I've just remembered what a beautiful jewellery box it is so today we'll be sorting out things um, getting rid of certain things and donating donating and also refilling these gaps in this jewellery box I'm really looking forward to it maybe finding what odd earrings and matching them up good yeah. Yeah. so what is your before advice to give to somebody if they've got things that because you know we all we all basically 
you know, have too much stuff. The amount of minimalists in the world is probably very minimal. Um, yeah. We've all got too much stuff. Have you got any tips of like... I, I, well, my husband would say, throw it all onto the floor and deal with it and, and just sort it out within, you know, a few hours. <laughs> That's not, and that is too overwhelming because he's got a different sort of way of dealing with things. So um, for us with the wardrobes, we've done, we've done it in stages, not exactly baby steps. Mm. Um, but we're doing it in stages so um, and don't be hard on yourself and just just think well I'll do that bit take it out and that's it just mm. do as much as you can like draw by draw because it's easy to open a bit and then open another bit and be like oh but look at this look at this look at this yeah but just do us like choose okay I'm gonna do this section yeah. and do it to completion and then right okay I'm gonna move on so today is jewelry day it is jewelry day I really love jewelry but I've got jewelry going back here for over yeah. 40 years um, and yeah and then I've got pieces like this that I absolutely love so if you don't mind I'll be showing you some sort of favorite pieces as we yeah oh are. no that's great and uh, what is this necklace you're wearing now this is Lauren's <laughs> lanyard. <laughs> your phone this is Lauren's yeah. lanyard because I just kept saying where's my phone where's my phone where's my phone because I'm not the person I don't even have pockets for a phone um, and this has you been do have pockets. so handy on holiday, going shopping. Okay, it looks really a bit groovy. I don't care. It's so practical. <laughs> it's made of cotton. Yeah. So that's another benefit. So it's not sort of g grabbing on my jumper and, you know, ruining it and everything. So, yeah, I love the, love mm. the little lanyard. And, um, One sec. You got the idea to actually wear that because you went camping and you lost your phone in the field. <gasps> Yes. You lost your phone. Mum lost her phone. She thought she was putting it in her jacket, but it went through and fell. So somehow I managed to log into Mum's phone from here, send my brother the details so he could access find my phone via Mum, and it fell out on a massive um, path on a field. So you finally and it was in the pouring rain and it survived yeah after you'd looked for an hour or so well, for the phone. Lauren, Lauren Lauren um said to me I can see where you're camping I can see say dad's phone or whatever it was I can see where you're camping <laughs> yeah and your phone is in a field quite away from you and that's where we've been walking I it actually fell out of this pocket I oh. think I had it in this pocket it's not deep enough for a no, phone it's not deep so enough gradually for a phone. I'm walking long loving it Loving walking <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Loving but it. My phone is gradually going like this. Fell out without a sound, obviously. Because it was raining too. It was raining. This was amazing. It was the most amazing experience because it was raining. We were all meant to be going out. And Lauren pinpointing it with an arrow in this field. And then uh, my son Louis making my phone ring as he's marching up because he wanted to be the first one to do it and he's shouting back to me i can hear it ringing <laughs> i mean it was such a, a, a fantastic day with technology thank goodness we'd um put this app on my phone where lauren in the yeah. office here yeah, yeah. miles away could say i can see your phone in a because you were in market harbour that's it Market <laughs> Harbour. Which so is if it. you ever want to bond with your family just lose your phone <laughs> and uh <laughs> Yeah, great experience. Would recommend. <laughs> what, small bags? Yeah, found another uh, another tooth. Oh. Have I not put whose tooth it is? <laughs> is it a cat tooth? No, of course it's not a cat tooth. No, there's no there's no tooth. There's no Just tooth clue. I've done that. Put it in... A, in... Just on oh, this... Yes, I think that's half a tooth. Yeah, this feels like it's half a tooth. Feels like it's 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 broken. Yeah, it is. This is you can even see the inside of your tooth. Look, that's the inside. Uh, yeah. You're gonna keep it. Yeah. And we only had one of my Maltese earrings. Okay. These actually look nice, don't they? Yeah. And we then put them on to take the mick. Yeah. Lauren, what do you think? So, hi, um, we're getting on very well. Let me put you over to the star of the show. What, uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing- Wait, let me make sure, okay, sorry. This is a pair of earrings yeah. that Lauren made me when she was a little girl. <laughs> when I was about 
fine. Yeah. And she also <laughs> got me a pair of earrings and she kept them really secret because she knew that I'd like them. Here they are pearls and she knew I liked blingy things, but they're actually cufflinks, so I couldn't get yeah, them through I was the holes gutted. in my ears. I remember I that. I know, I know. So I remember asking dad for the money. I think it was at a car it was definitely at a car boot sale. Oh. And like going, can I have a pound or whatever it was at the moment? At the time it seemed like a lot of money. Yeah. So it's really been like quite a very, very emotional trip down memory lane. I've got things going back to when I was a really young woman. Yeah. Um, you know, when I because I used to have almost black hair, long and wavy, which you can't really imagine. Um, so I bet I they can. Wear, so I used to wear more gold jewellery. And then um, because my hair would, gradually went, well, went white from about the age of 14, gradually in this dark hair, I went then to, through to silver. Mm. So it's been, Lauren's been amazing. So we've got, I'm thinking, why have I got odd earrings? I would never have thrown away this. Song. Yeah, we have, we, have a, we have a few odds, bearing in mind yeah. how much you had. But this is three odd earrings, and these are really it's nice. not that much. They're going to be somewhere. So this is all what we've sorted out for a cha charity or eBay. donations or friends are going to look through it yeah this is what you're keeping this is just like the odds and ends and this is all that i'm keeping let me show you this it's so sweet oh thanks yay you're so cute and this is your grandmother yeah po probably my grandmother's definitely my mum's so we're going back to around maybe 1930, 1940, for that <laughs> I think they were quite popular at that time. Yeah, it's so sweet. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you that I've obviously taken from mum as well. These are, are they pansies? Yeah. They're just so delicate. I mm. love them. Such good enamel work. Oh, look. Handmade screw, scruples, hand painted. Mm. I think I bought those new. They're so delicate. Never really. I think I wore them maybe once. I just wanted to show, when I was young, I used to wear really lovely, glamorous things and used to make clothes with a sewing machine. Mm. And although I'm not going to wear these... Put, um, them, put them down so I can see them. Yeah. I just couldn't, I just couldn't give them away. And Jeff rang while we were doing this and he said, if you're in two minds, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are so heavy. I know, they're re really heavy. So mum's just like, just put them on the wall. So we're just going to put them on the wall. <laughs> Yeah. You can hang them up and have them. It's, if it's something you like looking at, then why not? Just hang it on the wall. <laughs> Hi. It's so funny. I've dreaded filming for so long, but right now I'm not actually... I'm actually quite liking what I see. Well, it depends on the angles mostly, but um, it makes me feel better about filming. Um, anyway, just thought I'd share that quickly. I have dinner which is um, a quick stir fry. Um, oh God, I'm so hot. Sorry, I know, let me stay with that thought, Lauren. Stay with the thought. Um, yeah. Um, oh. So it's kind of similar to last night. I have smoked tofu in here with some jasmine rice, um, peas, blue and peas. <laughs> I never normally have peas, but I randomly bought a bag because I've, I don't know, I've just been really struggling with using up food. I waste food because I live on my own and then I don't cook it and it just, you know, it wastes money. It just is so bad on so many levels and I feel so much guilt about it. So I bought this frozen pack of peas and it's the best thing because uh, also I struggle to like think of what to cook and then I'll just make pasta. If you can relate to this, please comment because, yeah, I just feel, I feel, it makes me feel guilty, you know, that ominous bag of salad in the fridge that always goes off. So, yeah, or, 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 or I'll buy a bag of veg that's extra big and I'll think, oh, yeah, I'll make multiple dinners out of this like I did the other day. I went to the Chinese supermarket near me called Wing Yip. It's amazing. And I bought this massive packet of bok choy, which I planned to like make loads of meals about out of it. It had like four, four, four bunches of it, like four lit plants. I used two of them, and then the other two just went off. Because, oh. And I feel embarrassed even saying that, but I know that it, it's not just me. But I just want to 
be more sustainable, be more cost effective. I think I have my bills down pretty good anyway. Run down the village, I didn't see Yummy. What. And I'm watching uh, Downton Abbey, finally. I haven't watched it yet. Where's my keys? <laughs> They're still in my pocket. I'm still asleep. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm up. Evidently. I wish it was earlier. It's 10 to 7. I wish it was earlier. But we up. We're going swimming. Remember, if you want a change, we need to make a change. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I just completely drove the wrong way to the old gym. And I was driving along. <laughs> I was driving along, like looking at the old gym, like, oh, that's a nice tree. Wait a minute. <laughs> you turn. That's me doing the wheel. So we're here now. It's two minutes to seven. And I'm already berating myself. Because I'm already like, I was in the pool this time yesterday. Like, why are we so quick to be awful to ourselves? Why? Thought I'd share that realness. Even more realness. Like, you're such a loser. Like, why aren't you here earlier? You've you've done it like one day and now you're late. You are here. You're not in bed. Well, you could be in bed. Are you in bed? No. And if you are in bed, that would also be okay. We're here. Oh, and I'm so annoyed because my car hit my car hit ninety thousand miles yesterday and I missed it. I wanted to see it and wish it. Happy birthday. Did it! Oh my god. I need some hydration and I'm so grateful. Oh, I bought this with me. Sorry, no, no, no. Hydration! There you go. Also, I bought a little snacky. Little banana. That otherwise would have just rotted in my studio. Because I buy bananas and then I don't have... I buy bananas at the weekend, like a five bunch. And then I have breakfast every day at my mum's, so they just rot. Anyway, and then I'm like, well, I'll put them in the freezer so I can make smoothies. Which will never happen. And then I don't have room in my freezer. So it's just um, an ever-growing cycle of more guilt and shame. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning's here. The morning's here. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so it was busier this morning, obviously, so that was a, it was that little bit later. And the thing I find difficult with swimming is like the constant thoughts. Oh my God. I'm like, you shouldn't have come this late. All this late, now you having to... I mean, yesterday was a one-off to have a lane with one person. I also know how boring it is to listen out someone else's swimming experience. Only because I think this is boring. I, Lauren, if you're listening, I'd love to hear about your swimming. And mum, I love to hear about your swimming. <laughs> but it was good. I did it. I think I swam for about 15, 20 minutes. Yes, my diet culture brain is going, that's nothing. What's even the point? You should have said no. No. No, that's enough. Okay, I'm going to drive now because I'm already late. Well, I'm not really. Yeah, am I? Yeah, probably. Let go. I've realised that on this video, it literally, mum though, it literally just looks like I turn up into a room and I'm handed food by whoever I'm with. Like, dad makes me coffee, you make me food. I go to Charlie's, she just gives me this bowl of lovely pasta. It looks like, because I, I, I yeah. rarely show what I cook. Yeah. So, or if I do cook, like the other day I cooked, I didn't have much in, so I made this with some ramen and peas. And it went everywhere. Oh. And I didn't heat up the peas first, so the frozen peas made the ramen cold. And it was just all really depressing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really depressing. Um, yeah, so today, I'm gonna make breakfast. I did, no, I made you the poached eggs the other day. What, yeah. we've got bananas, we've got, that's it, would you like a banana? No, bananas. 
avocado. Sausage casserole? No, I've frozen them because I thought you're fed up with them. I've got, yes, I've got sausage casserole to eat. I'm not fed up with sausages. I'm fed up with sausage casserole. Um, we've got eggs. Do you want poached eggs? Fried eggs? Well, you can't do poached. You said you didn't want to do poached eggs because we've only got a poacher for two. Three. Unless we, unless I bought my poacher over, we could have two and two. That poach pan. Anyway, that's for another day. Fried egg sandwich? I, I haven't had a fried egg sandwich for about 50 years. So I haven't had one for about 50 minutes. No, I had one a, about three weeks ago. And so we've got the excellent. nice ketchup. Yes. Bring. Fried egg sandwich? Yeah, right. yeah, that can go. We've got that bread mum got yesterday. It's so good. Jackson's multigrain brown. Mm -hmm. It's probably like three pounds a loaf. No, they gave me a, they gave me a voucher, so I bought it. And it had good reviews. Mm. I would add to that. What's wrong? It doesn't feel very warm in here. I'm warm because I've been in the car. Yeah, I'm just going to just see what's Do going. some jogging on the spot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How would you like your eggs? <laughs> I'll have the yolks runny and hot. Oh. Not, not set, not okay. thick. And Hard. the whites, um, not phlegmy. Not phlegmy. Firm. Firm whites, runny yolk. Yeah, that was perfect. Thanks. Okay. Well, luckily your daughter is the egg queen. Yeah. Egg eating queen. Egg. What? Egg. Eggy? No, don't start calling me Eggy. Oh, Charlie's gonna love that. She's gonna tr tr change my name in her phone now to Eggy. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna t check the flemminess by shaking it mm. so you can see flemmy to cooked ratio. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just saying. Okay, it teach well, here's your breakfast with complaints. Yeah, <laughs> oh, amazing. Can I have the salt, please? Oh, amazing. Yep, oh, crikey. Oh, that looks perfect, Lauren. Thank you very much. Correct. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and a knife, quickly, a knife, please. Uh, sharp or just a spreading knife. Oh, yeah, this looks the real stuff. No Do you want a knife to cut it? Oh, no, I use this knife. Oh. Oh my goodness, I feel like, a ch I, feel like being, I feel like I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> what, because you haven't had this in so long? Yeah. That takes me back to being a child. <laughs> Yum. Four perfect eggs. Well done. No sweat. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, boiled eggs are great, but there's no comparison to, to the experience of this, holding it with all the heat coming out and feel the heat through the bread. I've got the yolk yet to eat. Mm, yum. <laughs> also, when someone else makes you food. Of course, yeah. Because Dad's not here. <laughs> you haven't eaten since he left. <laughs> Mum's chilly. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm not for it. <laughs> You're in his slippers. He's no, like, please done. stop. Yeah. <laughs> we're sorting these wardrobes now in the other room, so we're using the spare bed to sort things on. We've got different bags for charity shops different piles for different people. I've just found some dresses that um, I thought I looked huge in and they're tiny. So that's really upsetting. Um, they're actually here from this video that I made. Um, yeah, it's just not very nice. So, oh, you're in here. Can you like, I found a bit of ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Story of your life. Why are crisps?
like the best things. I've literally just got in and I'm obviously because I got up so early for me. Um, obviously had fried egg sandwich, then I had salad, and then I had an apple, then I had a few apricots. Anyway, you're not here to hear what I eat all day, but I just got home and then I couldn't decide between uh, cheese and onion or salt and vinegar, so I had both. <laughs> um, no explanation needed because I wanted both. I had both. Um, they're just elite crisps. I am by far a more savoury tooth than a sweet tooth, always. If someone was to like hold a gun to my head and say crisps or chocolate, I mean firstly I'd be like this is very weird what's happening here. I'd always choose crisps, what would you choose? Comment below, crisps or chocolate. But it, it can't be milk or white, no. Oh no, it's got to be dark chocolate if I have chocolate or crisps any crisps apart from chicken crisps no chicken does not belong on crisps chicken does not belong on pizzas and also while I'm at it offending everyone that's watching pumpkin spice is overrated <laughs> sorry I said it I say, I say it again louder for the people in the back pumpkin spice is overrated it doesn't taste of anything doesn't taste of, I don't know, just doesn't taste of anything. The other day, Lauren and I went to HomeSense, didn't film it. We went to smell candles, because what else are you gonna do in autumn? Literally, all the pumpkin spice ones were disgusting. And we were like, oh, we had a headache when we left, because we'd sniffed too many. You know, that's relationship goals. <laughs> Honestly, we were like, Ugh, this is disgusting, smell this. And she'd be like, ugh. And then she'd be like, ugh, smell this. And I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> Why didn't I film that? It was really busy for one. Um, I need to glue my trainers because a bit of the underlay. Underlay has come off. <sighs> the sole, since I put them in the wash. I have my therapy, hey Google. Set me an alarm for 5.55. That's 11 minutes time. I'm just looking at my lovely plants. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I've got um, stir fry for dinner. I want to do that bloody box. Yeah, finding those dresses earlier really upset me. <laughs> really upset me because I kind of thought I'd gotten rid of all of my like past life clothes apart from one pair of leggings that I've got in there that are sweaty betty and they were like 90 quid uh I, I got them with like money I had got given so it means they were free basically I got a bonus of my last by my last employer I just bought them now I think they were like 70 but still for leg and I don't think I ever wore them because they were sweaty betty and they go up to like max well I'm not sure if they've changed a bit now but they used to go up to like max size 16 um it was interesting just now because mum and I were talking about like my weight loss journey and we were just I, I wanted to see myself in this dress that I was mentioning earlier the blue one I wanted to see what I looked like in it because I still felt you know so big and all these things and we just waste, you know, we all know this, but we waste so much of our lives wanting to be different. Wanting, you know, different lives. Different job, different size, do all these different things that we, you know, or just different. And it's just so sad. Anyway, save it for the counselling, Lauren. It's in 10 minutes. Just hold your horses. Good morning. Hi. A uh, camera woman today. Oh, am I supposed to do this? It doesn't matter. Hey, I've got a camera woman today. Show your face, camera woman. I'd rather not. There you go, see, so you've got the hand. It's early. It's not actually as early as I was like yesterday. As 
up and out earlier yesterday. Oh really? Well yeah, done. thank you. But these dark mornings are grim. It's it now. Yeah. This morning we had thunder and well I didn't see it but Lauren saw it. F th sorry, Bubble saw it. Thunder and lightning, but no rain. Dun dun dun. But now we've got rain too much. Any morning thoughts, my love? No, I'm just really tired and hungry. You know, whenever I say, how are you feeling? Every single time you say, I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe it's being around you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see some questions? Questions? Possibly. <laughs> A couple of you said that you wanted to see me out and about. So this is me walking from my car to my mum's house because that's all I do. Another day. Ooh. Another batch. Oh wow! Same jumper. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Same jumper. Yeah. Nice. That was absolutely delicious, thank you very much. Was it better than yesterday? It about the same. No, probably yesterday was better. Yeah. Because... Hadn't I hadn't had it in ages. years. Yeah. That was lovely. Um, you got so many comments. Your video yesterday went out because you had your hair, the hair dye. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have done look it. Look at my little background. I should have smartened it up. Chloe said, your mum is a precious angel. I love her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. Someone said your mum's a doll. Someone said, yeah, everyone was saying they loved your hair. So, yeah, lots of lovely comments for you. Thank you so much. It was, <laughs> it was over, well overdue. <laughs> mm. From my analytics, I can see that in the last 28 days, my videos have been watched for 4,000 400 minutes. Oh no, you're gonna give me a sum. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm gonna tell you the answer. So in the last 28 days, my videos have been watched for a total of 189 days. Time. Wow. Non-stop. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That it's is like two crazy. thirds of a year. That is crazy. In a month. Well done guys. Keep I was just saying well done guys, but mum realised that I said minutes and it's hours. 4,400 hours into days is 183 days. So keep it up, well done. Yeah. It's um, amazing. I know, it is amazing. And I'm, not, I'm saying that as like in awe, not as in in awe of me, but like in awe of, I don't know. In awe of the interest, because... In awe of the interest, Yeah, good yeah, because it's been a long time since you've been posting. Mm. And... Hold that, I'm going to focus on you. It's been a long time since Lauren has been posting, mm -hmm. and it was such a big part of her life at one point, mm -hmm. and then it got a little bit overwhelming for her, and then, you know, oh, I haven't posted for ages, you know, it's a bit like when you haven't gone to the gym or something, and it's always on your mind. Mm. Um, and then life takes over and you have your ups and downs of life and whatever it may be. And it's really lovely to see Lauren um, as she is now. I can see a big difference in Lauren. <laughs> I even, this is a secret so don't tell her. Um, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> when, she's, when she's working upstairs and I'm busy catching up on something important like married at first sight <laughs> down here. No, I'm joking, but I, I have those little, little moments watching it. Um <laughs> I can hear her singing on <laughs> the computer. And it's a bit like when I was young, you'd get a workman coming along, maybe doing the windows or something, and he'd be whistling. You don't hear <laughs> whistling very much, but generally speaking, whistling um, is, a, is a sign of somebody just being relaxed. And, and this is something like the equivalent of that. And it's lovely to hear her whistling. <laughs> Not whistling, it's lovely to hear her singing. <laughs> you're, good, you're really good at whistling, aren't you? No, you know I'm rubbish. No. Whistling. I thought you no. were really good at whistling. No, I'm not, and I can't whistle anymore. You can't whistle? No, not properly. Go on, just try. You have to have wet lips and everything. Been... 
C, you're good that's, at whistling. That's not bad, but sometimes yeah. I can't whistle at all. But anyway. You need to have wet lips. <laughs> you do, you do. And it's not a thing now. You know, if I was to go out, say, if I was going around the supermarket and started whistling like that, people would probably start either looking at me or moving away. <laughs> um, if but, you see this woman whistling, yeah, please yeah. report. But what I wanted to just quickly say is it's so lovely to see Lauren happy and balancing her life and doing a bit of videoing and all the rest of it it's just for me as a mum it's lovely so thank you all for your lovely comments and for watching uh, yeah it's and thank you for being a willing participant having the camera shoved in your face when you've just woken up I know I, I sort of forced myself to get out of bed this morning and I think I really should have had about 15 minutes longer the other day I posted to you <laughs> and you went oh you were, you were on the landing upstairs and you were like looking on the floor <laughs> and you were you were like oh Lauren you video me bending over <laughs> great <laughs>